Hello everyone, this is Ian again. Welcome to our channel. So for today, we will discuss four MBA schools na pinag-inquiren ko that offers online learning. So yung reason kung bakit online learning ang pinili ko, hindi ako nag-inquire sa mga, you know, reputable uh, MBA schools in the Philippines because uh, most of them do not offer online uh, learning. And most of them do not um, have an active uh, distance learning or educational platform na pwedeng mag, in, like mag-aral lang yung isang aspirant or MBA candidate just using a computer or internet. So, um, let's first discuss yung unang MBA school na pinag ko, which is um, the school being endorsed by Tolo Pascual, which is AMA Online University. So, let's go to their website. So, ito yung website nila, amauonline.com. So, actually, sa website nila, uh, you will see that they're not only offering uh, MBA or Master's, they're also offer, uh, offering uh, undergraduate degrees and then they're all, the, like their Bachelor's degree. They also offer short courses um, online. Okay, so since yung topic natin is about MBA, um, we will discuss that here uh, for AMA. Pero let's just go quickly sa mga ino-offer ng AMA online. So they offer bachelor's degree. So let's check the bachelor's degree. So they offer information technology courses like uh, Bachelor of Science in Computer Science, Bachelor of Science in Computer Engineering, Bachelor of Science in Information Technology. They do. They also offer business uh, management courses like Miss Bachelor of Science in Hospitality Management, BSBA major in Marketing Management, BSBA major in Information System, and then BSBA major in Human Resource Management, major in Financial Management, and Bachelor of Science in Accountancy. They also offer education uh, courses for bachelor's degree. They have a bachelor's secondary education major in English. They also have secondary education major in computer science. And then, uh, secondary education major in mathematics. May arts din sila. Oh, meron din pala silang Bachelor of Elementary Education. So, arts and sciences, of course, they have BA Economics, BA in English Language, BA in Mass Communication, BA in Political Science, Psychology, and then Bachelor of Arts in Psychology and Bachelor of Science in Psychology. Okay, so, ang maganda dito sa university na to is that you don't have to go to school, like travel or commute, just to get there and have your education. You can do all the courses online, 100%. Kaya most of, um, based on my research, ang daming mga OFWs na nasa abroad who um, haven't actually finished their school in uh, like bachelor's degree, but they're able to finish it because of AMA Online University. They can actually study kahit nasa, like, let's say, Singapore or Hong Kong or Middle East sila. Uh, as long as they have internet connection, they have the laptop, they can uh, go and finish the requirements of a bachelor's degree, which is very, very, very good. It's flexible. People can work and, you know, um, makakatapos ka pa rin even if you're working. Um, actually, itong online schools na to, it actually gives us flexibility in my opinion na mas marami kang, uh, parang you, it, it helps us balance life, like especially those people who would be having, um, like, um, like you have to work and at the same time you wanna, like, study. So, um, online education is, um, you know, giving you that platform para magawa yung mga hindi mo magagawa if you're doing on-campus schooling. Okay, so, uh, yun yung mga courses nila. So, now let's, go to the MBA program nila. So, they actually have two MBA programs. They have MBA program for a non-TCs and MBA program for TCs. So, for MBA program um, with TCs, you can finish this program in one year and two terms and with comprehensive examination. So, this is going to be the curriculum. So, they're... Um, they have pre MBA for non MB non bachelor of um non business administration graduates. Kasi nga, like for example, in my case, I am a nurse, so I graduated nursing. So 
it's a transition of me from nursing to bachelor uh, like business administration so i have to take um bachelor of uh, like bat pre pre mba courses like this one the organization management management accounting quantitative analysis for business and managerial economics so kailangan ko siyang i-take um i think these are like how many units nine units for pre-mba and then automatic you're gonna be first year for your mba program like mba proper so yung mga subjects for mba proper nila ay methods of research and business applications uh, leadership organizational ma uh, behavior financial management marketing management production operation management and business policy and uh, you can also have specializations um, along with this program so you can finish the program in one year and two terms and uh, and with a comprehensive examination after okay so they also offer an um, MBA master in business administration non-thesis program so you don't have to create your thesis and then um, be in front of the panelists to defend your uh, thesis so in this program naman uh, when i inquired from them um you can finish the program in like two two years and a half and since i am a nurse i would have to take 48 units uh before i get the con uh before i get confirmed that I am a master in business administration. So, yung curriculum nila, so this is like their curriculum. So, of course, methods of research and business applications, leadership, hindi na nakalagay dito yung mga pre-MBA, pero uh, I will still take it as a pre-MBA if you did not graduate um, in, like, graduate from a business administration course. Okay, so, um, 36 units if you have the um you graduated with a business administration course and then 48 units naman if uh with the pre-mba courses two and a half years you can finish this so with the two courses actually um pinaka importante dito sa ama is their tuition fee yung tuition fee very 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 uh affordable i can say um affordable na nga and it's also uh, installment pass. So you can have your installment every two weeks, every, parang may ganun silang scheme, like every two weeks, merong every, every three weeks, every four weeks, like pwede nga atang every sweldo. If you're working, you can actually probably set up with them with an every payday um, payment for your tuition fee for MBA, which is very, very good for AMA. And I'm really happy na merong ganitong offering ang AMA. The admission officers are very good and very uh, polite. Uh, they actually sent me an, an email, follow up with me, and ensure that I get all the information that I need before I decide to actually enroll uh, to their program or to their um, school. So, um, and they will follow up with you. They will send you an email. And they will uh, get in touch with you. So, good for MBA4, AMA Online University. Ito yung local online university na meron dito sa Philippines so offers masters in business administration online probably meron pang iba pero i'm not aware of them so yun so yung next naman uh, next in our list of uh, MBA school that offers online university uh, online education rather is the university of people let me go to their website so this is the website of University of People. So, uopeople.edu. So, University of People is, the actual saying it's an education revolution. So, as per the website, it's re re uh, education revolution because this is a non-profit, American-accredited, American-accredited, tuition-free online university dedicated to opening access to higher education globally. So, Guys, makita mo nyo dito na merong tuition free. So, ibig sabihin nito, walang tuition fee yung school. Right? Tuition, walang tuition fee. So, it doesn't mean na wala kang babayaran. May babayaran ka pa rin po. Pero, I will discuss the payments later. And, I guess the payments are pretty much reasonable if you are really pursuing, um, you know, a higher education for in business. Okay, so they have different programs in University of People. So they have business administration, computer science, health sciences, education. 
So, under business administration, nandun yung MBA, nandun yung bachelor's degree, associate's degree, and same for computer science, health science, and education. So, now, since we're uh, going to, so, since this video is about uh, master's, so, just, just click on the master's degree. So, yung master's degree ng um, University of People, you can finish this in one year like if you will do full-time you can finish this in one year so i think most of the programs are like that no ama actually for their thesis program it's one and a half year one i think one and a half year and then for their non-thesis program it can you can finish it for like uh as quickly as two years and a half if i'm not mistaken this one you can finish this in one year now so now most of um MBA schools, they have um, really the goals of the program. I think they are they have all the same goals. It's like to make sure that their graduates are able to understand and analyze the core of the business and the process, and their graduates is able to like think um, strategically, futuristic and visionary in terms of managing business, not only the finances, not only operations, marketing accounting or whatnot but also managing the very important uh, resources very important resource of the company which is human resource so like everything putting together into one for for that particular gadget or person to actually run a business successfully not not we're not saying that it's run the business without any issue run the business successfully and no matter what issues comes in that gadget is able to think outside the box, think proper solutions, apply proper solutions, and really achieve the result that's necessary uh, That's necessary for the betterment of the, betterment of the company and betterment of the people that is working for the company. Bakit? Kasi nga, una, it's not only if, for example, a leader is able to like really make uh, the company better. If the company becomes better, the employee becomes better because one thing is that you secure the job of the employees or working in the rank and file. Enough of, you know, enough of the expectation of the expectation and what are expected for the students to be to become after the program. So let's go to the admission requirements naman. So sa admission requirements, uh, pretty much parang standard na to sa lahat ng universities online. So uh, I think yung since, um, since this is a, an American university, for non-native English speakers like us, you know, tayo na non-native speakers, we have to prove to them that we can understand and comprehend English language as a, like as a language of instruction na nag tayo sa isang university na ang language, ng, language of instruction ay English or nag-take tayo ng IELTS, TOEIC, or TOEFL, or kung ano-ano pang mga English exams. I think they also accept Duolingo. I'm not sure if this is the one or the other university language or English assessment test. So, kapag hindi ka naman, um, wala ka naman ng mga ganitong test results or anything or proof that you can understand, you can still uh, undergo and enroll sa uh, UO People MBA Foundations courses. Meron silang English uh, language course dun, and you can actually take that. So, entrance exam, walang entrance exam ang UO people. So, anybody can enroll as long as you're, you have the, you, you graduated in your bachelor's degree. So, MBA foundation courses. So, sa MBA foundation courses, once na nag-enroll ka sa kanila, you will be asked to enroll to at least, if I'm not mistaken, three MBA uh, foundation courses. So, ito parang evaluation din nila to. Like the, the the university would actually see um, if you're capable to pass the evaluation, they will check you if you're able to like understand the courses and all. And then if you pass everything with a certain mark, I know that there's a mark that I have seen somewhere in the website. Na once you pumasaka at evaluate na pasado ka sa mga foundation courses mo, you will be admitted to become re to become an MBA student of University of People. So, don't worry naman, yung mga foundations courses mo, it adds up to your credit for your actual MBA degree. 
resume. So, requirement din ng resume, same with um, AMA. Kasi nga, uh, most of uh, the schools for business, they would require their students to actually have experience in the corporate world. Sometimes yung iba, three years, pero most of uh, most of the schools, they will only require a two years, um, two years MB, at uh, two years experience in the corporate. Bakit kaya ganun, no? Like, why are they, what, what do you think is the reason na they will ask for an experience? Kasi nga, para sa akin, yung reason talaga why they have to do it is medyo mahirap. Like, after graduation, like, all theories and without application pa, then you start work, uh, start, you know, studying your master's uh, in business administration. It's going to be difficult kasi nga, it's a completely different uh, field. Uh, you have to, uh, there are a lot of case studies, like application, practical application, and how are you going to solution a certain situation. So if you don't have that um, firsthand experience uh, working, like managing people, managing finances, managing operations, ensuring performances at best. Um, medyo may hirapan ka to actually get by um, with your MBA class and, and subjects. Yun. Kaya most of them requires a two years experience, work experience at least. Recommendation then. So uh, most of the schools would ask you um, to submit to them a letter of recommendation coming from your dean in back in college or s- from your boss or from your employer employer the reason um for the reason behind that uh, in my opinion is siguro ano um because it's it's a way for them since this is a tuition for university it's a way for them to get a um like I think confidence that they are investing with the right uh, person, like uh, investing their time. Because again, most of the uh, most of the um, professors here are volunteer professors from New York, New York University, and other prestigious American universities. Na na volunteer sila to actually teach in UO people. Yon. And then next is um, para alam din nila na ah, itong tao na to. Uh, may potential to, to actually bring the name. Pala yung ang magaling to, uh, once sa magaling to, um, magtatanong yung mga tao, bakit ang galing niya when he manages business? Saan ba siya nag-aral? And so, that's gonna be University of People. Yun. So, you have to submit proof of bachelor's degree completion. So, syempre, kailangan mag-submit ka. Like, paano kung di ka pa pala nakakanapos and then you study uh units you, you study here at University of People so may um ba, medyo magkakaroon ka ng conflict kasi nga kailangan you finish your bachelor's degree first so sending of documentation you can send all the requirements to their email and then University of People's uh, people address uh, papunta ng Pasadena California yun so yun yung mga requirements ng degree and admission nila. So ngayon, ito yung pinaka-interesting part about paying for school. So yung paying for school um here uh meron kasi tayo. So for example, nag-apply ako dito sa University of People. I have to pay $60 as an application fee. So ito yung application fee nila. $60. So once nag ano ako ng intent to actually enroll for the master's degree, submit the information pay the $60. And then they will decide, okay, we will accept you to the program. You can enroll for the MBA, uh, UO People's Foundations uh, courses. And then, while you're finishing the UO People Foundations courses, you have to submit all your requirements na. Pero ako, my take is that, even if you, even if hindi ka pa nag-start, you can submit all the requirements because you can easily, you easily have your uh, diploma, your transcript of records, your curriculum vitae, probably your recommendation letter uh, would take like one to two days when you request it from your boss or from your um, cal- college dean. But I think that's the only delay that I'm thinking na mangyayari. Yun. So, my suggestion is just send it right away. And then, ito na yung medyo um, may fee talaga. Tuition free pero merong assessment fee. So, pero guys, yung assessment fee, $200 lang. So, for example, uh, isang subject, 
um like for for one term you will study two like two subjects or two courses at uh, two yeah, tama two two subjects so yung two subjects na yon libre yung material libre yung teaching libre yung learning but when we well, but kapag ite-test na nila yung naintindihan mo doon sa lecture you have to pay for the assessment fee which is $200 per course so for example two courses so that's $400 so that's like how much 20,000 pesos so 20,000 pesos for like two course six units okay na po yun guys ano na siya mura na siya so yun yung courses nila so Ang estimate talaga nito, uh, if you finish like the entire uh, MBA program, you will shell out 2,460 US dollars. So that's how much, uh, like over 100,000 pesos, 148,000, 150,000. So medyo ganun yung amount niya. So, pero again guys, it, yung mga 140,000, that's super affordable. Kumpara yan sa mga uh, other on-campuses university natin meron dito sa Philippines. Oh, maliit pa po yung tuition fee na yan. Okay. So now, um, let's discuss naman, so yun yung uh, fees. Let's discuss naman yung curriculum naman. So yung curriculum nito, um, pretty much almost parehas nung nasa MBA curriculum ng EMA. Pero let's go uh, all over it again naman. Managerial accounting, they have managerial accounting, they have financial management, they have marketing management, they have organizational theory and behavior, they have management information system technology, business law, ethics, and social responsibility. Of course, operations management, di nawawala, and strategic decision making and management skills. Parati siyang andun. So, which is very, very good. So now, um, Let's discuss naman yung um, frequently asked question. Kasi nga, when I heard about uh, University of People, I was thinking, legit ba to? Kasi nga, parang wala daw tuition fee, pero mag-abide ako ng $60. Bakit ganun? So, I, 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 I am, to be honest, hesitant if uh, this is a legit uh, university. Pero I was proven wrong when I did further research. Kasi nga, the university is at accredited internationally. So, ito nga guys, so University of the People is accredited by the Distance Education Accrediting Commission. So, itong commission na to, they are accredited by the U.S. Department of Education and recognized to be able to give um like degrees. So, they can give degrees. So, technically, so if, if, University of the People gives you the credential of Masters in Business Administration, automatic, they will, automatic, um, you have that. And it's recognized by the U.S. Uh, Department of Education. So, is it accredited um, in other countries? So, they are actually very upfront with this because they haven't pursued accreditation in any other country aside from the U.S. So, but mostly naman, if your education is um, in the U.S., accredited by the U.S. Uh, Department of Education, it's accredited almost in every um, every nation. Yun. And then, is it available for students from every country? Yes, this is available to all students. And of course, not all. Depended pa rin sa qualification. Kasi nga, there are qualifications that you need to meet, requirements that you need to meet. Unfortunately, uh, there are no scholarship for um, master's degree. So, who is be, um, behind the program? It's Dr. Russell is uh, Weiner, William H. Joyce Professor of Marketing at the Stern School of Business, New York University is UO People's Dean in Business Administration and head um, heads the new MBA program. And then also, all the members, distinguished leaders in the field and bring a high level of standards to the online degree program. So, the board consists of esteemed volunteers. So, mga, say, guys, yung sinabi ko kanina na there are volunteers from different big universities and pre prestigious U.S. universities. Ito na yun yung mga names. Si Dr. Gabriel Hawawini, 
from Wharton School of the, Un of the University of Pennsylvania, Devon Chambers of Oxford said Business School, Dr. Alex Tuzilin of New York Univers University Stern School of Business, Professor Dr. Kring Sak Charu Wong Sak of Harvard, Mr. John Garzima of BAB Consulting, Mr. Ken Marlin of Marlin Associates, Dr. Albert Wenger of Union Square Ventures, and Ms. Toby Weiner all have helped envision and contribute to the world-class standard of this exciting Master's in Business Administration, guys. So, itong mga uh, yung like conceptualization and putting all uh, putting together the master's degree program of University of the People, it comes from different uh, folks or professionals who were educated in different business schools. So that alone, I can say na like you're not only learning from one university, you're all learning from different universities, different knowledge, uh, knowledge that came from Wharton University, um, Oxford, Harvard, New York University, and all. So that's very exciting and very, very good. So, yun. so who wrote the courses? So a range of academics or specialists in the field, of course, ang nagsulat nito. So, but most of them are Dr. Russell and Dr. Alex of New York University. Ayan, ito yung sinasabi ko that their instructors are qualified people who volunteer. So, they're, all, they're only volunteers and ranks of universities and offer them services. Yun. So, the other questions are like very lengthy. You, you can actually go to this website, to this link, visit, and then read further. Pero, yun siya. So, very, very good ang... Uh, University of People. So, ito yung FAQ nila. Online tuition-free MBA degree, one-year one year program in management. So, now, I will show you naman yung, ano, yung, uh, ito yung sinasabi ko kanina na UO People's Foundations. UO People's Foundations. So, ito yung courses that you have to take first before you uh, take the actual MBA or core MBA courses. So, you have to um, take these courses in master's. So, managerial accounting, financial management, marketing management, kahit tatlo lang dyan, I believe, three courses. And then, once you pass and you pass um, according to their standards, according to university standards, um, you will be admitted to the MBA program. So, yun. And then, I will show you the actual dashboard. So, once you become a student, you paid your tuition fee. You paid, I mean, not tuition fee. You paid your application fee. You will be, uh, you will be routed to dashboard. Actually, kahit hindi ka pa nagbayad, uh, mapupunta ka sa dashboard. Bibigyan ka ng dashboard. You will see your application. You will see your payments. You will see your foundation's evaluation. Ito yung mga, ano, uh, university of, ito yung UO, ito. Ito yung UO people's courses. Dito siya mag appear sa Foundations Evaluation, Transfer Credits, Yammer. They have the online uh, like social media um, system ng school. So, makaka-chat makaka -chat ka ng mga kaklase mo dito. You will see your uh, classmates, UO People Catalog, their policies, their website, virtual tour, prepare for university, their social media channels. So, this is going to be your dashboard. Uh, once you are um, ad, uh, enrolled to um, University of People. So, yeah. And so, again, so roughly, it's like around $2,500 to finish the entire MBA course in one year from University of People. Good part about University of People, you just have to pay the application fee of 60 bucks, and then every exam is $200 per course. So, total of 2,460 or more, depending on, ano, um, as, as, as of this, as of right now, it's like around that amount, which is very good kasi nga magkano lang yun kumpara sa ibang schools that we have here in the Philippines na on campus. Okay, so yung next naman na school that I'll be reviewing, okay, so recap muna tayo. So, I had um, reviewed the process for application, the requirements, 
and then yung curriculum ng AMA Online University for MBA, both for their thesis and non-thesis MBA. Uh, we have also just finished discussing the UO people, um, admission requirements, fees, Courses, program details, frequently asked question, why is it tuition free, but there's an amount that I need to pay, who are the professors in you owe people. So those have already been covered. And guys, you can visit their website anytime to do further research because I'm not able to like to cover everything for you. You can ask me questions in the comment section. I'll be more than happy to answer as long as I know it. But uh, I think most of the questions can be answered when you actually go to their website. Okay, so the next uh, university that I've inquired, it's actually not an actual university, but it's an educational education provider platform. So the name of that education provider platform is Athena Global Education. So Athena Global Education is actually providing courses, education, like uh, online courses, and then they are accredited by international universities and after, and that international university will be the one to confer to you the degree so example um let's see let's go to the website of Athena Global Education so ito Universidad Católica de Murcia so Universidad Católica de Murcia is in Spain so when you study here in Athena Global Education after you finish their courses, the modules, and finish your thesis, then you can graduate here. The one who will give you the degree is Universidad Católica de Murcia. Okay, paano ba to? Paano ba to nangyayari? Paano ba to ginagawa? Parang hindi ba to scam or something? Okay, so let's discuss further. Kasi, for example, ito yung actually yung ginawa ko sa, sa, sa kanila. I click on Executive MBA. Because I, let's say, I want to study MBA, executive MBA, yung school na magbibigay sa'yo, ito, Universidad Católica de Murcia, Spain. Tapos, they have a free trial for seven days. Okay, discuss muna natin. So, ito, uh, duration of the MBA program, very important kasi ito, kasi nga, 9 to 36 months lang. Very important, guys, na you know kung gaano mo lang katagal pwedeng kunin ang MBA program, MBA. Kasi yung ibang school, after that amount, after that, like, time frame, hindi mo na maipapagtuloy. Or, you can transfer to another university, there will be transfer credits. Yung iba ganun ang nangyayari. Pero ito, like, you can finish their online education in 9 to 36 months. English, of course, ang language nito. University is Universidad de Murcia. So, top online university, bakit kailangan executive MBA? Guys, ang mahal ng executive MBA. Magtanong ka sa AIM kung magkano ang executive MBA, magugulat ka, as in. So, super, super, super expensive. Pero again, that's AIM, and that's on, on campus. Kaya, alam natin na mahal talaga. Anyway, discuss muna natin yung Athena. So, si at, uh, dito sa Universidad de Murcia. So, once na natapos mo lahat ng requirements ni Athena Global Education, eh, recognize ka ngayon ni UCAM na graduate nila. So, you can either travel to Spain, do your um, graduation there, pwede. Pwede, sabi ni Athena Global Education. Nag-inquire ako, nagkausap ako ng admission officer nila, so, I was informed with all the things that I need. I needed to be informed. So, ito, I, I registered to their free trial here. And I actually checked kung ano yung mga um, courses, subjects, and ano nila. So, ito. Tingnan natin. So, ito, there are one, two, three, four, four core courses. Core courses for their MBA. So, they have the International Human, Man, Human Resources Management which is uh, 20 CIQ credits. They also have their ECTS, which is um, equivalent to 7. Yung ECTS kasi, guys, ito yung equi equivalency chart is for comparison purpose only and doesn't reflect the exact mapping information. Depende pa rin sa mga actual university. 
However, the final MBA awarded by the University of Care is 60 ECTS. So, 60 ECTS. So, once na nirecognize ka na ni uh, Universidad de Murcia, uh, meron kang 60 ECTS, and then you will really be given the MBA, Executive MBA uh, degree. Okay. So, itong guys, itong International Human Resource Management, I will tell you kung gano'n mo siya kabilis matatapos. Natapos ko to in, uh, in one week. Before my trial expires, in one week, I was able to finish this. So, if I am not sure kung may assignment after this actual module or there's a capstone project. Pero since I am not really enrolled, it was just a trial lesson for me. Um, wala siyang assignment or any project. Kasi kung may mga assignment or project, of course, parang uh, baka mas mahaba pa. However, since um, wala nga, seven days tapos ko na siya. The module. Actually, you can do it this, to be honest, you can finish it in, in two days. Kung talagang magpo-full time ka lang. Finish in two days. So, kung two days, two days, two days yan lahat, you guys can graduate anytime. Very quick. Pero matatagal lang ka lang sa thesis. Right? And then, kung may mga actual subject or capstone project dyan, kada isa or projects, then yun, mas magiging matagal. Now, guys, let's discuss yung fees. Kasi diniscuss din to sa akin uh, by the admission officer. Uh, we communicated using WhatsApp and we communicated via email. So, yung fees nila is actually kind of pricey. Kasi tignan mo, nasa $5,300 siya. Five, six, kung kasasama mo pa yung Certified Manager Certification Fee, which is $300. Optional lang naman, pero why not, di ba? Kung $300 uh, lang naman. Anyway, so kung 3000 so kada module kasi guys, $500. So for example, ako, nag-7 days trial ako, para ma-enroll, natapos ko yung International Human Resource Management na course. So for me to get that certification uh, ng, uh, ng International Human Resource Management, I have to pay the first enrollment fee, which is $500. And then for me to transition to uh, another course, I have to pay $500 again. So for each course, $500. So kung compare ko siya doon sa UO people, na kada course, magbabayad lang ako ng $200 sa exam fee, like the education and all, materials and all, libre na, exam lang, mas makakatipid pa rin ako sa University of People. Kasi nga, mas makakatipid ako in such a, ter- in such a way na uh, kada course, $200 lang, $300 kada course ang masisave ko. Kasi dito, $500 eh. And then, sex subjects, that's going to be like $3,000, $150,000 agad yun. Sa UO people, parang 150,000, all in, complete ka na. Halos lahat, complete ka na, or graduate ka na. Dito, of course, may mga diploma certification, thesis, $500, thesis assessment, $500, and then the degree certification, $1,000. So, that's a total of $5,300, plus additional na $300 for the certified management certification fee. So, of course, yung mga requirement, the same lang, English language proficiency, so, magkailangan nila ng IELTS score, English proof, that your work experience in an English-speaking environment, um, you have experience, so, you need to provide, ito, sabi dito, evidence of three years experience in a managerial work experience talaga, yung requirement nila, uh, bago ka ma-admit into the program. And then, you have to have, um, of course, a bachelor's degree. So, ito. So, so ngayon, nagtaka ako. Sabi ko, may ganun pala. Like, at Nina Global Education, you can study here. Tapos, another university will give you the degree. So, I actually kind of a little bit suspicious about this. So, I actually reached this university, the actual university, UCAM. So, uh, kinontak ko sila just to verify if this is legit. Kaman legit ba na um, once na natapos ko lahat ng mga information from Athena Global Education, is bibigyan niyo ko ng, like, kayo yung magko-confer ng, ng degree ko. And then they said, yes, we're accredited and we will give you the degree. So, it's like, okay, so this is legit. So, yun, yun guys, so legit siya. So, if you choose this and you want to graduate in Spain, uh, then you can probably go with uh, Athena Global Education. So, ito kasing UCAM, guys. Um, I will tell you, meron din silang online. 
online na postgraduate ng MBA, eto master's degree. Ay actually wala pala silang online. Ah, they have, pero walang MBA, ibang courses lang. Pero ito master's of degree in business administration, it's is an on campus, on campus education siya. And then um medyo mahal siya kasi ang tuition niya ay ito. Mga 9,000. So hindi ko alam kung magkano to sa Pilipinas. Oh, that's like 498,000 pesos and 50 or hindi pesos and 50 pesos and 58 cents. So medyo mahal siya. So ito yung pinakamahal sa mga na-review natin today so far, right? 498,000 itong UCAM. Pero pag dito ka naman sa ano, ito halos parehas din lang kasi 5,300 US dollars, let's say kung magkano to. US dollars o US to PHP o oh, 268,000. So, instead of enrolling directly here and being on campus, magbabayad ka pa ng dorm. Of course, the information, ticket information, dorm, visas, and all is not included in the 498,000. So, that's gonna be on top of that. So, maghanda ka ba? ng additional 500,000 or even more kasi nga you will be staying in, on campus and then this is a uh, program is gonna run for one year. Ayan no. So, prepare at least 1 million here. Pero in Athena Global Education, you get this, you you pay this amount like roughly 268,000 and then you get the same degree certificate that this university gives para dun sa uh, mga students ni Athena Global Education. So, mas nakasave ka pa din. Yun. So, yun guys. And, yung next naman natin. So, so far guys, ang, ang na-review natin ay yung AMA, which is local in the Philippines, pero online university distance learning. Second, we have reviewed the University of People. It's a legit Uh, education provider that is accredited by universe, uh, U- uh, United States Department of Education. And then third, uh, we have reviewed um, like Athena Global Education um, that they provide you with with the materials, education, support, assistance. And then once you finished everything, you will get the actual degree from an international university that is um international university that is based in uh Spain. So, review ko lang further si Athena Global Education guys before we jump to the next university yung pang-apat natin. So again, as I mentioned in, in the beginning of the video, uh four university ang 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 i-discuss natin. So nasa pang-3 pa lang po tayo. So now, uh let's go to Athena Global Education. There are other education or universities accredited with Athena Global Education. Hindi lang yung university, um, the, ito, hindi lang yung Catholic University of Murcia, Spain. So, makita mo dito that they have degree diploma program. So, they have Masters of Business Administration in this university. I don't know how to say this. Guglielmo Marconi University in Italy. So, let's check that out. So, ito guys, ano siya, parang same process para silipin lang natin yung fee. Uh, okay, let's see for a fee. Okay, yeah, yung fee na is almost all the same. Medyo mas um, mura lang to compared dun sa executive MBA program ni uh, Catholic University of Murcia, Spain. Ito kasi nasa $4,400. Pero um, still, comparing this to University of the People uni- um, twish, uh, fee for the exam, This is more pricey, right? So, same process. If I enroll here, take the Master's of Business Administration and fulfill all the requirements uh, that is needed um, by Athena Global Education, my uh, information will be endorsed to Guglielmo Marconi University, and then I will get the MBA uh, degree from them. Um, there's also one from the same university, which is Master of International Business Administration. So, ito ay really more on spe- specializing management of international business um uh, you managing not only international like international business international um human resources kasi nga of course kada isang like 
local like a company who is uh, expanding and putting up a lot of businesses abroad or any other com uh, any other countries have to really acknowledge the fact the variabilities like culture legalities and also medyo technical so medyo maganda rin tong uh, masters actually especially if you're working for an international organization or big organic multinational organizations so may mga extended diploma din sila guys na you can enroll and then uh, i'm not sure lang kasi ito yung hindi ko natanong like if you actually uh, study extended diploma you will get an actual uh, like after after it passes up can that be converted to a master's degree that's not something that i was not able to clarify so hindi ko po yan na itanong sana nga na itanong ko yan nung kausap ko yung mga uh, admission officer but anyway um yun so marami pa silang mga courses dito and then there are uh, accredited universities who will be awarding you that certification once you are uh, you completed their requirements okay so now um ito na yung actually yung last natin in terms of um the four universities that we're supposed to uh, discuss so itong four um yung panghuli natin is yung next board university so ito si next board university nag inquire um talaga ako dito i asked kung um paano yung process and all so so sa next board they have mba programs they have dba programs and they have associate degree programs and certificate programs so okay so dito let's see sige umpisahan natin Let's say MBA natin. So, sa MBA nila, parang monthly ang tuition fee dito. Online system din. Monthly kang magbabayad. So, you have to pay monthly. Um, the amount is going to be shown here. Let's see. The amount. Where is the amount? Okay. I don't see the amount. It's not in this page. So, anyway. So, I hear. Sorry. So, the amount is $160. $160 with an asterisk. Okay, so that depends. So, um, $160 per month, flexible pays. You can complete an MBA in an average of 18 months. So, that's one and a half year. Work through the program at a flexible pace. The faster you finish, the more money you'll save. So, courses, uh, you have to take 12 to 19 courses with 26 courses on offer personalizing your MBA is easy. So, meron silang uh, five special, uh, specialization for their MBA. Um, like five ba? Uh, we will check. Uh, yeah, five specialization for their MBA. So, we will check their specialization later. Yun. And then, let's see. Some other resources. Okay. Skills to drive. Next word. How much it costs. Okay, so ang maganda dito sa ano sa um uh, MBA ng Nextford, once you are enrolled to uh to their university, you also get access to LinkedIn Learning, unlimited access with Nextford kasi nga it's a university and you can access all the courses in LinkedIn. So, ang um, so just to give you an, an understanding of the savings that you're going to get um, it's like probably two hundred forty dollars in one year. Ang bayad kasi sa LinkedIn membership, uh, LinkedIn Learning is two hundred forty dollars uh, for twelve months. So you get to have that extra, right? You you get that already. And then, uh, okay, ito yung ano parang um, calculator ng course. So let's say, so mag mag try tayo. Um, Time it takes per course. Let's see. So if I can do okay. So there are how many courses sabi dito that I can take? Uh master five to seven competencies per course and pick a pathway. So twelve to nineteen courses. So kapag you do let's say 40 hours, like full-time, 40 hours ka mag MBA, that you will spend 40 hours per week uh, for your education. 
you can finish one course in four weeks. So, in one month, one course. So, in 12 months, talagang gagraduate ka na sa 12 to 19. Kung kada course one month, then automatic 12 courses na natapos mo. Eh, 12 to 19 ang requirement nila. Then, probably, lapit ka ng guma ah, graduate nun. Four weeks. Pero, of course, guys naman, if you're working, alam no, hindi yun reasonable. Yung 35 to 40, hindi siya attainable. So, probably, mga nasa 20 to 25 in my case. So, probably two months per course. It's gonna take me two years or more to actually finish the entire MBA program. But then again, guys, the reason why it's very important that we, if we can do the 35 to 40 hours, it's because the tuition fee is monthly. The tuition fee is monthly. So, kung eto, ka, kung eto lang yung ano mo, 15 hours per week, the 20 hours per week, 8 weeks, 2 months. So, para matapos mo yung 19 courses, anong petsa na, and then magkano na yung nagastos mo? $160 per month siya. Okay, meron silang calculator uh, dito before na you can see how many months you can, ano, you can finish the entire MBA course. Let's see, parang hindi ko na siya makita. Anyway, so, check natin yung mga um, course and competencies. Okay, ito yung program structure. So, in my case, that let's say, hindi ako graduate ng business um, uh, related. So, ngayon, um, I have an undergraduate degree in business. No. So, click ko yung no. Then, ito, for found, ito yung magiging pathway ko for me to get the program, for me to get the MBA. So, I would have to have the four foundation courses muna. And then, 10 core courses. So, 14 courses siya. And then, 2 elective courses. So, 14, 15, 16 courses siya. And then, 3 specialization courses. So, yun. So, medyo mahaba-habang uh, process. Pero, again, the more time you spend for your calculator per week, the quicker you can finish the MBA program. Why is the time is an element here and time is of uh, essence? Because the payment is monthly. So now, um, let's see, 10 courses. So ito yung mga courses na na finance, leadership, marketing operations. Okay. Elective naman nila is sustainability, strategy, e-commerce, operations, global business, and management. So, ito yung mga specializations. Um, actually, yung magandang specializations kasi hindi ko, ma, hindi ko pa nakita yung mga specializations dito sa nung, uh, specializations ng next course. Specializations ng mga university na na-check ko. Kasi ito, for example, they have specialization in sustainability. They have specialization in doing business across the world. So, international business management. Parang ganun. And then, um, Enabling e-commerce, so guys, big, uh, big, uh, industry and e-commerce. So, um, you get to be have you get to have specialization for e com managing an e-commerce business, and then ito exciting din to advanced AI and future of automation, which is uh, I think going to be the next big thing, if I'm not mistaken, para sa um like technology and um businesses. So, having a um, master's degree specializing in AI and future of automation, I think, is really going to be the good thing. You will also see the uh, courses under that, you know, data science for decision making, artificial intelligence, robotics, and automation. Another specialization, so you know, yeah, five specializations, tama tayo. Managing hyperconnectivity. So, from cyber war rooms to hackers, cyber security. So, ito yung mga Internet of Things, cybersecurity, leadership, product management, and agile, and lean. So, ito yung more on tech, uh, tech side. So, yun yung mga, um, yun yung mga courses and specialization na next board. So, gusto ko sanang mahanap yung, um, ano, yung, 
calculator. Give me one moment, guys. Um, meron sila dating calculator dito. Okay. Admission requirements. Okay, like first of every month yung start nila. So, for example, nag-apply ako ng May, 3rd, May 15. Automatic ang start date ko, June 1. So, pag nag-apply ako May 30, June 1. May 1 ako nag-apply, June 1 pa rin. So, ito yung P. So, monthly tuition, tuition tailored to you. For an MBA, pay for as little as 260. So, medyo for as little as 160. So, kailangan ma-clarify mo yan. For Bachelor in Business Administration, $80 naman. For Associate, $80. May mga certification din kasi sila dito, like $80 per month. That and the, the certification program or lecture will run for like 2 to 3 weeks, yung mga ganun, or 1 month. May mga single courses din na mga 2 weeks, 4 weeks, mga ganun, which is you're going to pay $80 per month for that. May scholarship, yeah, you can try that. Ito, ito, I think this is, for calculate your, okay, so ito, I'm gonna show you the, ano, um, the differences on how next scored, uh, compared with other university. So, uh, for next board, your MBA is at $3,840. For, uh, Western Governors University, 17300 Capella University, 36,225. Walden University is at 30,000. Southern New Hampshire University, 22,575. Purdue University, 42,000 US dollars. So, guys, sobrang um, hal, right? So, it's like magkano to dito sa Philippine money? 2 million, over 2 million. This is over 1 million. This is 1.5 million. Over 1.5 million. And almost 1 million. Pero sa next board is just like 100, um, like almost 200,000 pesos. Right? Sa next board. Let's see. Then, so, dito sa next board, guys, uh, to set your expectation din, parang um, nabasa ko din dito na you will have, akala ko dati kasi, you will only pay one month. Like, yung may, may babayanan ka ng $20 application fee. Tapos, after mong matanggap sa program, you will pay one month. Okay na. Hindi pala, you can, you have to pay advance tuition for at least two months. Two months para hindi ma-interrupt yung learning mo. So, again, dito, mag-take ka, halimbawa, nagbayad ka na ngayon kasi, di ba, time is uh, very important dito. So, pag nagbayad ka, kung kaya mo mag-80 hours a week, 80 hours a week, double time ka, Pwede mong matapos ang isang course kung 80 hours in 2 weeks, right? Kasi kanina, based on sa calculator nila, 40, hour, 40 hours a week, that's 4 weeks. So, kung 80 hours, 2 weeks, so kada course, 2 weeks mo matatapos. So, in like as little as 6, 7, 8 months, 9 months, pwede mo nang matapos yung MBA. At makakatipid ka kasi nga, 160 times 8 months. So, yun, instead of $160 times 12 months. So, yun yung savings mo. Time is really important. So, kailangan ikaw yung uh, mag a para matapos ka na din. At the same time, mas makasave ka. Yun. And then, you'll pay your tuition fee every one, three, or six months. Ayan. So, we'll collect payment three days before your next payment is due. You'll receive a reminder before your payment date and another email confirmation from next for when you're, when you're charged. Pay monthly in three or six months installments. Okay, so you can pay monthly, three or six months. Payment method, uh, of course, they do mention debit card, credit card, and you need to contact there. If you need help, contact help at nextboard.org. So yun, guys, um, based dito sa mga na-check natin, ano sa tingin nyo yung university na pinaka-affordable uh, para sa inyo. Kasi ako, to be honest, um, since, alam nyo naman yung new normal ngayon, ang new normal is for you to study online. So, hopefully, yung mga other, online univers uh, other universities here, 
uh, would be able to come up with an online uh, curriculum, an online platform where we can study, like Lasal, Ateneo. I'm not sure if they have online, to be honest. I have friends who have studied in Ateneo and Lasal for their master's in business administration, but I haven't. But they actually go to the to actual school and on campus. But since um, they are in this situation, I have went ahead and researched made some text messages, made some online um, online messages using WhatsApp to inquire kung ano pa yung mga kailangan, ano yung mga requirement, magkano, pasok ba sa budget ko, flexible ba since I am working and can I really like do the uh, education while I'm working. Yun. So those are the factors na mga inisip ko. Ano ba? Ano bang gagawin? Um, ano bang best university for me? So, in terms of price point, I can say AMA is the most affordable. AMA Online University is the most affordable, guys. Then second is the University of People. University of People is actually um, good then kasi nga, siya yung next to the most affordable, right? Nasa mga 2-5. Kasi budgeted mo na lang ng $3,000, $150,000 pesos. I think you're already finished with your MBA. Pero of course, uh, medyo uh, matindi din ang competition ng UO people kasi nga, it's tuition free and they're only like making money uh, out of the examination. So, you really have to prove that you're uh, really best and doing the best that you can to actually be educated and be able to be called, uh, for you to be called a master talaga in business administration from the name itself, master. Kailangan master mo. In, admi- uh, in in managing business, Administ- uh, like you're an administrator of, administrator of the business and you know the ins and outs of the business, right? So, you know expectation. So, I think you owe people very, very good. $60 lang initial, ano mo, $60. And then you worry about the $200 later on pag mag exam ka na, which I think okay lang kasi you're not gonna be taking like many courses din naman. Right? So, if you can't uh, afford. I think, nag-inquire ako sa kanila and they told me that you can take the actual course. Uh, I think you can take the MBA for like five, up to five years. O, oh, ba? Parang mas, ano siya, mas, ito yung pinakamahaba. Like, up to five years, you can, you can take the MBA up to five years, if I'm not mistaken, sa UO people. Next naman sa Athena Global, it's very, very, very flexible. Not not the super affordable one out of the four. Not the super affordable one out of the four. Pero I think they act, uh, they're the most flexible. Kasi nga, for example, you you actually pay them by course. Uh, you actually pay them by course and not by monthly, right? So, or by exam. Kasi kasi sa UO people, um, once you're enrolled, then you're required to actually transition from one course to another and pay the $200 to the exam, and then automatically you get to be enrolled in the next following course, right? Which is you have to finish and then pay $200 and then take the exam and then you enroll kasi per, uh, per term sila. Si Athena Global kasi, like you enroll for like, let's say, executive MBA mo, um, once na nag-enroll ka sa kanila, like, I finished International Human Resource Management. I paid $500 there. And then, I don't have money to actually pay for the next one. So, it's okay. In, it's fine na hindi mo na ako mag-take. It's fine na hindi mo na ako mag-bayad. Uh, I can only pay once I have it. And then, I'm, I'm done. And I can finish it in three years. So, in three years' time, I can do that. So, if they have six and then at least two courses in a two courses in, if there are six courses, and I'll do two courses um, per year, like per six months, one course per six months, I can still be able to graduate kasi nga 36 months, up to 36 months sila, three years. So, kung six courses na katapusin ko, two courses lang a year. So, 420,000 a year. Right? So, uh, not 20,000, sorry, that's gonna be 40,000 to 50,000 a year. For, for the education. So, 50, 50, 50, 150, if I'm not mistaken, plus the other fees, then better, right? So, ganda din. And then, si Athena Global din, meron din siyang uh, selection ng other universities. Other universities, um, 
hindi lang basta yung UCAM, hindi lang yung iba pa, like, um, marami, marami din silang mga specializations. Yun. So, yun yung, sa next Ford naman last, uh, as a recap for the next Ford, um, sa next Ford naman, ano siya, um, this, I think, um, medyo bago lang to, a university, and, um, per Wikipedia, when I did my research, okay, hold on, next Ford, I'm not sure how legit this is, but when I did next Ford Wikipedia, where is the wiki? Ito ata wiki ba to? No. Next Ford wiki, I go to a lot of uh, sites to check, I Oh, next word wiki. So unlike with UO people, si next word kasi um Oh, they got deleted. Why are they got deleted? Mm, I don't know what happened, pero I used to see information about next word university here, but for some reason the page got deleted from Wikipedia. So I'm not sure what to say. I'm not insinuating anything. Um, kayo na po bahala. Kasi sometimes talaga, uh, Wikipedia delete information, and this one, it looks like it got deleted, and let me see. Yeah, it got deleted for some reason. Walang dito ang Let me see. Below for reference. Deletion production may move to log for a page or provided below for reference. May come with second premeditated chaos talk. Just deleted page. Let's see that. What's, what happened? Okay, who is this? Okay, I don't know what's going on, pero yun guys, so uh, meron talaga, uh, merong information dyan. So, ang parang difference before is that kinikilala si UO people ang University of uh, uh, United States Department of Education tapos si next Ford parang yung understanding ko is that I think an application pa lang ata sila for accreditation with the US pero may mga accreditation sila online like uh, let me see here alam ko meron sila dito um their accreditations Name, courses, FAQs. So, marami kang mag- mapupun- ma- ma- ano sa FAQs. So, dito, you will see kung asa yung mga accreditations nila. Uh, let's see. May scholarship din sila pala. So, baka gusto nyo subukan. Pwede naman. Tama. Do they have search control F? No, they don't have um, search functionality on their website. So, yun. Ay, ito, 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 accreditation. So, this is what I'm looking for. I'm gonna show it to you guys. Sana. Okay. So, license in the U.S. recognized worldwide. Oh, okay. They're licensed in the U.S. na daw. Okay, license the US and world. So we're licensed to grant degrees. Okay, so sabi dito, next for university is licensed in the District of Columbia by the Higher Education Licensure Commission of the Office of the State Superintendent of Education. Next word serves learners from around the world and in other states within the US where the university is either exempted, approved, or licensed. So currently, the university is not re- authorized to offer its programs and therefore does not enroll students in the following states. Oh, okay. So if you are following, if you're from here, these states, hindi pa pwede. They're not admitting students. Okay, I see. We are an American university licensed in Washington. Okay. Uh, okay, so marami silang, oh, ito parang familiar to. Para nakita natin to dito sa atin na global education. Anyway, so yun yung mga accreditations nila. So guys, I have shared to you uh, four 
uh, universities na sa tingin ko uh, possibility na maging options natin for enrollment for our uh, non um, online MBA course. Um, so, nasa atin na kung alin yung depende sa budget, you can either go to AMA Online University which is the most affordable out of the four. And then next, uh, in terms of pricing, I am in, in University of People and then uh, Athena Global Education. No, Athena is the most expensive. So, either go to next Nextport and then Athena in terms of price point. So, in terms of in my opinion, kung ako, I would uh, go with uh, University of People uh, in terms of studying. Kasi nga, uh, I can see na ito volunteer. Pakita ko lang sa inyo. Uh-huh. Okay. So, yung mga yung mga officers nila board of trustees so maraming mga tao na nandito sa University of People talagang grabe yung mga credentials ng mga uh, professors nila so um, very well educated from different different uh, schools, business schools and of course their knowledge will be shared to whoever students so it's like a mix of all um, mix of all education from different organization getting it from just one organization, right? If you know what I mean. So, yeah, medyo, um, I lean towards here, uh, University of People. So, guys, ito, as I've mentioned, na meron ako ng profile sa kanila. So, I have my application section, payments, and also, um, so, if I continue while learning with UO people and then graduate in like two to three years, you know, I'm, um, then I'll get my degree in an American university, right? Okay, so I think I have talked a lot and I know this is a lengthy blog and I hope you guys have, you know, learned something about, um, about uh, these four universities and I've also pra- helped you figure out kung alin yung mga university na pwede yung i-consider that offers online education and that is uh, the most affordable. Okay, so again, um, this is it for for this uh, video. So again, guys, this is my channel, Ian Victor. Please do not forget to like and subscribe to my channel for more content. Um, I think I'll be adding more of in terms of leadership content to the channel and then be inviting a couple of friends to do collaborations on the channel very, very soon. Okay, thank you so much, guys. And again, like, subscribe. This is Ian. Have a great day.